Yeah, Shockey's been doing a great job cycling the map, positioning himself very well. There's been a couple times I've seen Shockey's POV, and I'm I'm thinking he's a member of Stealth Gaming because of the Double the way he's positioned kill. himself on triple the map. Kill. Now rewarded for it wow. with a triple kill. How frustrating is that? You're the camo guy. You feel like you got a, a, a sneaky spot set up, and then they just see you and, and kill you instantly. Like, come on, man. Like, I had the chance to break the setup, but they just like, oh, he's right here, and they just kill Double him and, kill. and just go about their merry day. <laughs> <laughs> That's so frustrating as a camo player in that situation. I'm just disappointed because it's... Oh, Link's oh, not disappointed with God. that body stuff, barrel stuff, headshot. Oh, Another one! Let's go melee! Kill. Making a triple, triple kill. killing frenzy killing as he finally frenzy. goes down. Link's has been the MVP here in winners round one. What a performance from him. 24, 3 and 6. A little montage play to add to it. Wow. The, the competition's going to get tougher, all right? And you got to get top eight. All right, there Old we go. Man That's what we're used to seeing. <laughs> and That's APG. Right. Oh, okay, okay. He heard me. He heard me. He heard the call out. Shout out. Double. Triple. Double. No, gets the double. No scope variety is McWin. Maybe he did hear us, uh, Eli. Uh, uh, talk about answering the bell. The efficiency of this Las Vegas Halo squad. I want to see it. So far, I think we have. Ooh. Collect with another no scope headshot. Uh, a great example of that as it looks like Native Gaming are starting to warm up. Flex ADHD was showing there, just doing a little dance on the midbridge because he didn't see anybody on his screen. Finally, see someone lands the headshot. Look at this. He is putting Snipe. the sniper to work with the killing, killing spree. spree. He is looking to shut the door as quickly as possible. You mentioned McGuinn not able to compete in HGS Season 1. That's a top oh 25 all time Halo player. We're seeing some top 25 no scopes. Shock rifle, no scope lands. Lynx goes down, so too does that shot previously. I thought Shockey might be able to grab it, but no, instead he goes down. Barcode with the triple, turning over his left shoulder for a potential overkill, checking spawns. We just saw Mikwin shoot the pad of the hill. If you guys are not familiar with that mechanic, it does have an electric effect to shock the hill player. Pushes the hill player out to just deny access to some more time, but denies access to life to the next two opponents he runs into as he hits the double kill. It's going to continue forward, grab these sticky grenades, reload the shock. Now he's predicting the spawns on the snipe side. Sees that his team spawn on tram. Absolutely knows where these guys are. Goes for the insta explode. That player has to be weak now. And he's just putting on a clinic. This guy is doing every trick in the book to completely shut down Las Vegas Halo. Now that they've completely secured the side of the map, they're going to get some hill time. Before we get into it, we have a short little clip that we want to show you guys from another one of our streams. I saw me show more streams in the chat, by the way, so you guys can catch up the action that you guys are uh, not watching here on this main stream on the other side of the bracket. Let's see if we can uh, catch a look. All right, we got so many other games going on. This one going to be the phase one, right? Frosty comes out nice, nice, but look at this from the top rope. Oh, baby, coming down. Man went sky high. Hey, we'll check this action out. See all the phase matchups over on the Charlie stream. But Frosty doing Frosty things. One Halo Pro's name out there. We know it's at least, it is a Halo Pro. I just got confirmation. It's not Master Chief. Give me one guess. I'm going to say Talik. Okay, Talik. I'm going to go with, God, this is difficult. Give me, I have, I have there's no names. Uh, Eco. I'll, I'll throw Eco out there. Louie, who is it? No. <laughs> I totally forgot about that freaking. That's from a newspaper it's article you, like 15 years ago. <laughs> Who found this? Yeah, I knew Tools was searching through the history books to like find stuff on me. He he asked me the other day, what's that? What was that old site that you guys used to go on? And he found Bro. the freaking newspaper article. Oh my oh. god. Wow, the ultimate reversal perfect there wow. from the LVT production team. I'm wondering, I was like, I was a little, a little confused. I'm like, why do they want us to do who's that Halo Pro? But I'm one to always say yes when I'm on the broadcast, so sure, why not? And what a what a troll pick there from LVT. It was you, Eli. <laughs> and what, what was that outfit you were wearing? Was that edited or what the hell was that, dude? What year was that? What editing okay. program is? I have questions. So the local newspaper hit me up because they heard about my pro gaming career. And at the time, they that was like unheard of, right? It was 2008, I think Halo 3 had just come out. And uh, I didn't even drive at the time. I was like 17 years old. And they picked me up and drove me like 45 minutes to the studio to take pictures of me. And then they edited the Master Chief onto me. So <laughs> I was wearing my Gumby t-shirt. Like they just literally scooped me from my house. Like you can see I'm wearing a freaking, it said Gumby buck naked since 1969 or something on the shirt. But man. 
my yeah, god. Little throwbacks <laughs> of my 15 minutes of fame in the uh, Virginian oh. pilot. <laughs> Just 20 seconds left. The clock could dwindle away. The life force does from Hus as three go down for complexity. And Native Gaming might just clutch up. Descendant, last player alive, but he doesn't have much of a play to make with low shields. Gets some support, but finally goes down. Are Native Gaming going to do it? I think so. Last player alive is Ryan Noob. Can't secure it. Barcode using the ball as bait gets the triple kill to close out the round. What an icy finish. Planned a rotation to the window side of the map, but instead worked their way back to A. And Descendant has the opening break slay. Precision oh. cleans up on McGuinn as Complexity have stolen it in the end game here with the lead up one. Now tied as Collect finds the slay, but he gets cleaned up shortly after. 47 46. Precision pushing up on the staircase. A couple grenades go out on each side. And Precision, enough. this is a difference from his gameplay. Last year he'd push in, this year he's playing much smarter, taking the opportunity oh to stay alive and allow Descendant to do his thing with camo as oh us. Complexity get another opening break slay in this micro secrets, and it leads to a win as Complexity absolutely dismantled Native Gaming. Native Gaming had the lead. Complexity had the back A spawns. It didn't matter as Complexity find the ice in game two and a 2-0 lead in this series wow did you see the way descendant was moving on s4 there he was just jumping back and forth with perfect precision i think he knew that native were looking for him so as camo actually used himself as bait while they were all fixated on oh no there's a camo guy lurking above us flying through the sky the rest of complexity swoops in and gets the kill watch this in-game sequence here from Descendant. So Precision pushes up, gets the word on these players. I don't know how Descendant even got the camo in the first place, but he's just up here. Oh. They're looking for him. He's above, look at them. They're all just floundering, looking, trying to look up. They get some shots on him, but it's too late. The rest of Complexity have pushed in and swarmed and they've got nowhere to go. Looking like ants scurrying around in the ground while he just flies above them like an eagle. What a crazy in game that was. Kept complexity at bay ever since they did get that four down. So important to never go forward down, but we see ooh, some ooh, body ooh, disrespect ooh, from wow. Descendant. This man has been feeling win. himself. He's been doing it in scrims. It doesn't matter who he's playing against, against FaZe. He's saying what he wants to say. He's speaking his mind. He thinks he's one of the best in the world, and I kind of agree with him. This guy's been absolutely unreal as of late, but gotta wonder if that body disrespect could potentially come back to bite him. We'll have to see. In the game, he's been able to get that point for his team, and now it's all up to Optic Gaming to build a wall. Do not let Complexity pass this halfway point, but they're swarming to that camouflage play, and Raidu, patient in the background as he takes him down to secure hill number one for Complexity. Starting off this game, A and three, and that shock rifle might just be a devastating to this optic roster. Oh, are you kidding me? There is no way that that just happened. That is called multitasking at its finest. An absolute clinic by the side of Ryan who opposite ends of the hill, put optic gaming between them and it's Swiss cheese from there. Able to light them up and put them four down. The push is coming, my push is dead. Double, Double kill and it might just be more. Dead zone, sayonara, triple, triple in the feed. Persistence taking over. This game's not over yet. Where's the spawn? Where's the push? One good shot for Complexity to find this break and win this game. But you have to go through a full strength optic gaming to do so. It's a two man push through the pipes do they find lucid in time his position's known the pre-fire's in no damage done by lucid here comes the push yep, that damage was done but descendant does get his shields back formals on the back of hydro trippy's the last player alive it might be it this might be it complexity might take this and with that kill they do they secure game number one versus optic gaming they survived game number one's the way to put it. They knew they had one shot at it. They coordinated themselves, put two players, push all the way across the map. Look at how long they routed their way to get into that position to fight for the hill. They knew it was their last chance. what they do? They prioritized finding the perimeter player in Lucid. Took him down from there. It's a 4v3. Bully ball your way in. You think this game is over, but look at the route.
Look at the route. Descendant Ryan Noob. They know what they need to do. Go all the way across the map. This is a trip to Mordor. And they know that they have to take down Sauron at the bottom of stairs. The pre-fire works it from here. It's simply a numbers game. Uh, sink and collapse in on these players at Hill. Fantastic work. Fantastic coordination. Staying cool under pressure. Complexity. Steal game one. A rock in a hard place. Every time they have to make a decision, there's two players one to your left one to your right <gasps> it's resulted in death after death but dead so oh he got another he got another tim <laughs> No shields, Denzo with a bit of a stutter, crouch step, stripe, never see anything like that. Couldn't hit that if I tried. That's what blows my mind. All of that from Optic Gaming, and we still see a two kill lead out of complexity. It was four, but now Precision with this Bulldog oh, camo no. combination. This is not good. Wait, they were playing Ring Around oh, the Rosie. He's, he's they spotted him. He's got it to kill though. He gets the kill on the formal as well, kill. not expecting the push. And it's Precision with another double, 21 to 16. Complexity lead, game two. And now they're trying to put this Complexity roster away. Come, trip, keep oh, please don't get oh. him. He found it, <laughs> folks. It's okay, it's okay. That would have been scary, especially with a 48 to 46 lead. Optic Gaming looking to close this. Oh, oh the quick God. drop by Descendant. Oh, my word. That is tech used masterfully, masterfully by Descendant right there to bring this within one. But Optic do post the 49. 49 to 48 now. It is Optic Lucy. looking for the final kill. Look at Lucy. Look how forward he is on the map. He's all the way in that driveway. He's on a flank that could determine everything. Descendant by one. Kill. There's three there. No, he's on the second one. Descendant got the double. Complexity go up 2 0 in the series. Oh my word. I just sounded like a little girl, but let me tell you, that was disgusting. Descended on B rail. Getting the double kill to close it out. 50 49. It's the high ground. Did you not learn anything? Obi-Wan taught us years ago. The high ground advantage was too much. Shippy's caught down here at posters. They're right on top of each other. Once the Senate gets this kill, it's chaos that ensues. Three players from complexity just find the important kills when they matter. Oh, you thought you had it. The flank that came in pulled a player away from the push. In fact, can we re wait, wait, rewind the tape? Rewind the tape. Oh, it's a flank that made all the difference. Look, okay, so you have three players on the high ground. We'll run this in real time. We'll run this in real time. Ryan is over in the back, but he's coming back. It's Descendant that's on the flank. Look at the kill feed. Descendant finds the first one with the shotgun that came off spawn. He's behind everyone for the triple kill. The collapse comes in from the backside. And what we talk about, the, the Achilles heels of Optic throughout these first two games has been the flank. A complexity, getting behind players and making the difference. Optic, and what I love is the high ground play, right? They're not too desperate to, to try to chase down these final players. And it's okay if you lose a hill here. You want to get this camouflage. You want to keep control. Keep the space on the map. Lucid's going to be looking for a quick flank here. The question is whether Descendant sniffs it out before the damage comes in. And no, he cannot. Lucid. He's going to cause mayhem as he's going to find another couple bits of damage down as he stays alive. I love the way that Lucid plays. Yeah, I mean, this this map it can be so uh, incredible in terms of snowball. Oh, well, 343 wow. has addressed did it. I did not know this ledge whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know if he knew it either. Not sure how much value can be provided up there, but regardless, it's a great place to stay alive. Because that ball gets played and suddenly you're at the front lines for your team. Formal found himself another sniper and uh, complexity. I, I think you're going to write this round off. I don't know if there's any way you can get past Formal when he has his weapon in his hands. Well, Formal gets the first one. The ball will be dropped by Optic for just a second there as they look to clean up that kill. And it'll be Optic! Formal with the triple kill. and Optic close it out. Round number one. Look at this, just checking his corners real quick. He ends up getting the camo, but is it gonna be burnt? No, keeps the camo, keeps the sniper. This is scary for the side of complexity. Three players ahead of him, Formal with this camo. Just stay slow, stay silent. Oh boy, they're gonna be pushing, but look at the flakes from Optic. It's a devastating result for complexity. Formal, he, not only did he hit the sniper shot, he was a perfect bait at the perfect position. And guess what? He knows your spawn. Uh, you know, very close games, heartbreakers in game one and game two, but FaZe might just be able to secure their ticket to an Arlington pool play spot as well before go down, Tim. 
Reversal Perfy. They're going to do it. They need to do it right here. That ball did not get played. Oh, no. Wait that could be minute. devastating for FaZe. They have to trek all the way across the map. Do they have time? Cherish is holding on to this. Renegade has the camo, but that doesn't have really an opportunity to use it. Look at this rotation. This is brilliant. Rotation from Cherish. He's just standing away. Here comes the collapse. It's all going to come down to this gunfight. It's Mortally who picks up the ball. We're going to a game five reversal. Perfy beat FaZe in game number four. What the frick is going on here? If they can find breaking shots, a sniper shot. No, breaking down the camo. It wasn't burned. FaZe get control of every damn thing on the map. And guess who has control of most of it? It is this man on your screen, Renegade. A shock rifle, a grapple, and a camo to work with. Look how slow Reversal Perfy's playing, though, once again. They're all stacked up as well. You can see, sitting uh -oh. on top of each other, sees the gun. Renegade gets the Perfect. first one. They have information now, though, but Collapse will come through from FaZe. As that first kill is huge, a couple nades come through. Renegade looking for an opening here. Has to play some close range on the shock rifle. Gets the kill on the Morally. This man on your screen, one of the most deadly players with his weapon in his hands getting themselves in the pipes and getting ready for that shock rifle. Oh, man. It's he just World blew two. up the nade at tower. Oh, Royal oh, my two. gosh. Oh, he saw a nade on the ground. Used the commando from it. across the map. Shot it and got the easy pick. For standards allows Ezo and Mipukis to grab a hold of that overshield and I would have to imagine at least one rocket to work with. But a well-placed grenade into a no-scope. Gilkey. Bringing Such us back to 07. The 3v4, a perfect play by Common. Great objective play from him so far with 70 seconds, a rotation, and some good damage from him. Common playing at a very high level. <laughs> but Clay making the plays that matter. Otherwise, on any of the damage, those players get their shield back, and now West 50 Second actually have the setup themselves. 57 to 42 lead here, West 50 seconds, still have control, and yet another triple kill. This time it's gonna be Yaxin of Tenrai, matching the energy of Clay almost. Getting the overkill, honestly, I, what was that, it's the split second behind? We're, we're, give me, give him the medal. Well played by Diagram, the eagle eye am right there, uh, right at that moment, but now, they rotate all the way toward the purple side, and that rotation is going to work so well for them. Too quickly oh, going yeah. down, make it three out of nowhere. Native gamer able to visualize the situation and then adapt immediately. Beautiful play for Mikwin. What he does there is he goes behind the box. He lets his camo come up to where the aim assist isn't going to be given to Septify right there. He hits the two perfect shots, knows exactly where Septify is going to be playing because he put the spike on the left side of the wall. He knows Septify is going to be playing on the right side. And because of it, Mikwin finds himself two big kills, keeps map control in Native Gaming's favor, extends the lead eight to one, and now has Bulldog and is baiting out a trap for Cloud9 to walk down these stairs. Kill, camouflage, snatched up by Native Gaming while getting the numbers advantage. They're looking to steal this one away. Damage out of Mikwin doesn't exactly clean up, but Diagram contesting oh and Mikwin God. Putting the disruptor to his body, puts a shock to his system. Native gaming up 2 0. Somewhere out there, Gilbert Munoz is smiling because he loves himself the disruptor, and Mickwin uses the disruptor in the iciest moment I have seen the gun used yet in Halo Infinite. 49 49. He decides to pull that out instead of using the bandit. <laughs> Nerf it again. For the game, <laughs> he decides to try and be a difficult kill, try and put these UI effects on the screen to make it difficult to get this kill. Can't quite hit the headshot from Diagram's point of view. As good of a game as he had, that was the kill that you'll be thinking about the most. And Mikwin pulls it off to give his team a 2 0 lead. Sanders for up, they immediately decide to attack oh, Bravo. Wow. They go down, the reset comes in. Kratos may be out of ammo with the shot, but has double plenty kill. more in that bandit. A double kill out of Kratos, but still Bravo changes hands. Multiple going down for crowd pleasers. Alpha Bravo being held here by Sanders. If Kratos can get away with Camo, it could be huge, but crowd pleasers are running out of options. Kratos does so much there, but the trip cap still being threatened right now. One player is in BC, still not controlled. The clock 
the scoring neutralized right now as these sweaters go down. Swiss finds himself a double. They will start to score. They will get the reset on the C. And somehow Stainers have blundered the map control that they earned. And Swish, with some of the biggest shots right now in the tournament, will take down those players and win his team this game three. Avenue with the double kill, Swish with the trust in his teammates to go at the Bravo early, and let me tell you, crowd pleasers coming in with the upset. Respawn, they're able to compete for that ball, get the kills. You saw Sap with the triple, and now they're gonna push this series to a game five and ten points. So Spectre just playing with his food a bit here, jumping around, staying alive, and what was that? <laughs> Double kill on the Suspector leads to that game five that you wanted to see. And, and although it's a one kill game, another chance right there, Tony, that you would have loved to have that overshield if you were the other team. 42 to 40. Game five. Kill. This is where you figure out who, what you're really made of. This is when you dig deep. That dog in you needs to come out. And it's a three kill advantage here for Stainers, who was so close, so close to putting this out of reach here for crowd pleasers. However, all four members of crowd pleasers hit the battlefield and avenue before crossing over toward the util side. Absolutely gets a drill. Kratos is going to drop as well. Back to a five kill advantage. Make it six to 48 kill on the board here. For standards, luckily, Avenue's able to take down Suspector, slowing them down just a bit, but it's answered right back. Sap with the 49th, and will he be denied? Hayden gets himself the kill, but it's not going to be enough. It looks like standards are advancing forward. Crowd pleasers, go down. You work with the snipe. I like the rotation to green so that you are going to be able to play it, but you need to find a way to get some kills. And right now, Monster, head on a swivel. Here's that the pressure's coming over from Nest. And he's got good damage onto this player, Ness. Spots the player, big door as well. Two players, big door. This is great damage for Monster and the rest of four Gale. They should be able to win the battle for Slays right now. And with it, maybe this game. Complexion is moving forward. Perfect okay. shots out of him. Takes down Squally, but Burton quick with the cleanup. 92 seconds and counting here for 4G. Can they come back? Can they steal it away? Or they might be able to do it. Hotshot Ghost gets himself a double kill and nobody able to get the ball out of hands for Burton. 4G steal that one away, which moments ago it felt like Rob the Turtle and Lies were going to run away with it and steal it away. Back to those nades, back to that slay, and back to 4G in control to take away that game and end the series.